Hi, this is Dave Early, and I want to talk about the fact that too many Christians too often are defeated by hurts, habits, hang-ups, haunting thoughts. But I want you to understand something today. There is a way to freedom, the Jesus way to freedom, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Now, all these videos are available on YouTube, and they will help you grow in your relationship with God and also help you learn how to help other people grow in their relationship with God. Well, what is this Jesus principle of freedom from hurts, habits, hang-ups, and haunting thoughts? Well, it's simply this. The key to freedom is truth. The key to freedom is truth. Jesus said, in John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. Uh, then you will be my disciples indeed if you continue in my word and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Every area of my life, every area of your life that we live in truth, that we think true thoughts, those are areas where we experience freedom, we experience victory. You'll know the truth. You will experience the truth, and the truth will set you free. It's not just knowing in your head. That word talks about knowing through personal experience. As you experience the truth, it will set you free. But how can we get, why is it we get into hurts and habits and hang-ups and haunting thoughts? It's because the power of bondage is in lies. If truth sets us free, then bondage puts us into lies. The power of bondage is in lies. Every area of your life, every area of my life, where we believe lies, those are areas where we experience bondage, areas where we are not experiencing freedom. If we can print out every thought that, that you thought last week and circle the ones that are true, those would lead to areas of freedom, circle the ones that are lies, those would be where you are experiencing bondage. So the Jesus principle of freedom is no truth, and truth sets you free, which means the battle is won or lost in our minds. We are the product of our thoughts. If we're thinking true thoughts, we're walking in freedom. If we're experiencing lies, we're walking in bondage. The, the power to change your life is when you make the choice to change your mind, to change your thinking. It tells us in Romans chapter 12, Paul says, don't be conformed to this world. Don't think the thoughts of the world because they're lies and they'll put you in bondage. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then, then you will know and prove the perfect and acceptable will of God. You will experience freedom when you change your thinking. You're no longer conformed to this world, but you are renewed and continually being renewed in your mind as you continually think the truth. Uh, Psychologists found out that this principle is true. They call it cognitive behavior therapy. And the idea is thoughts lead to feelings, feelings lead to to actions. Your thoughts lead to your feelings. If I'm thinking right, I'll feel right. If I'm feeling right, I will act right. If I'm thinking wrong, I'm going to feel wrong. If I'm feeling wrong, I'm going to act wrong. The key to changing your feelings and your actions, change your thoughts. That's where it all begins. Cognitive, be, cognitive behavior therapy. Well, where do we get the truth? Where, where does it come from? Well, it comes from one source, the Word of God. Jesus prayed for his disciples in John chapter 17, verse 17. He said, God, sanctify them through the truth. Your Word is truth. God's Word is truth. So the more you think the thoughts that God, the true thoughts God has put in his Word, the more you will experience freedom. When I first became a Christian, I had a lot of, of, of baggage. I had a lot of issues. I had a lot of hurts and habits and hang-ups, and, and I was troubled by haunting thoughts. I was dealing with, with some anxiety issues, some depression issues, some, some life-dominating sins. But I made a commitment 
The commitment was this, spend an hour a day with God in the Word and in prayer, and on top of that, read three chapters of the Bible every day. Well, you know, it, it took a while to get into those holy habits, but as I did, I began to change my thinking, I began to change my feeling, I began to change my behaviors. My life changed as I changed my thinking, as I began to know and experience the truth, I began to experience more and more victory and more and more freedom. And you can do the same thing. I want to challenge you to make a commitment starting today to renew your mind in the Word of God. Maybe your commitment is going to be to watch one of these videos every day. We post five a week. And if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can get access to lots of videos we've done in the past. Maybe your commitment is to read one or two or three chapters of the Bible every day or memorize a uh, verse of scripture every day. The more you know and think the truth, the more you're going to experience freedom. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you got a comment about what we've been talking about, I'd love to see it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, I encourage you to do so right now. Thank you. This is Dave Early.